Are you refusing to age up as well? You totally are, aren't you? Oh! <gasps> and oh my gosh, where are you aging up? No wonder it's not working. Celia just died of old age. <sighs> I really don't want to do this. I've got to make it evil. Hello, my little peaches. Welcome back to a new video. I am going to melt during the recording of this video because it's like 28 degrees where I live right now. But this room with this light and this light and this light and this light and that light and that light and that light and that light is like 35 degrees. So humid and so hot. I have an iced coffee. I only just got this. All of the ice is gone. There's no ice. There is no ice. So this may be a shorter recording just because I can't keep making videos if I have physically melted. But I have some cool stuff to show you guys first of all let me just go to the berry family real quick because watch watch this no not that no oh my gosh I've, I've messed up i've ruined it it's all gone already okay look at this loading screen one peachy linked me this loading screen thank you so so much it's a shame it doesn't do it in cast as well but i obviously went for peach because we do be peachy and if you're feeling especially peachy this is your reminder that it's your final day oh my gosh i need to start ironing my clothes if you are a verified peachy today is actually your final day to get a hold of the og peach founders t-shirt after today it will never be available again. So it is your final chance to get a hold of it. Make sure you check the link in the description below if you would like to buy it. There's adult sizes and kid sizes as well. But the other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick is I got into the cast and I'm like, what is going on on Clem's tongue? And then I realized because of the swimsuit she had on before, which was actually this one right here, Look at the shape of the swimsuit and then look at the tan lines. Like, I didn't think she'd got that tanned. Obviously she has, because this is her before color and her after color. And look at her tan lines. Like, this is a word of caution. If you are gonna tan, you've got to be careful about what you wear. Otherwise you get left with hilarious tan lines. And she has very hilarious tan lines right now. So yeah, I just thought I would show you guys that because it cracked me up. And look how pretty. Okay, what I'm thinking of doing is I will change this going forward to orange. And then every time we change the gen, I will change the loading screen color just because I thought it would be pretty cool. So right now the gang is still in Sulani. However, I think they're going to get kicked out like today. So we may have to go claim them and bring them home. Honestly, it was just genuine. Oh, we actually have two days. Okay. It was just genuinely far too many people to bring on a vacation anyway. Would not recommend bringing this many Sims with this many split. Oh my gosh. No, don't be hysterical. Don't be hysterical. We all know how this has gone in the past. Didn't such some temporarily die from hystericalness? It just makes me really nervous. I need you to go and calm yourself down because my Sims definitely have a little bit of a habit of dying from emotions. I know I can switch it off, but honestly, sometimes you want a few sims to die. There's just an awful lot of them. It's good crack. Does this whole place not have a mirror? Hello? I'm clicking that thinking it's a mirror and it's just a hole. <laughs> okay, I can't find a single mirror to try and calm myself down in, which is incredibly concerning because we are hysterical. So instead, I'm just going to send her to bed. It feels like the safest thing to do. And the reason we are hysterical is because we're very huffy. We had our first kiss. It wasn't great, but it was both of their first kisses. We also have a new partner because Keen on Fires and Keen on Keen on Fires are now in a relationship. Keen on Keen on Fires is of course Clem. And so she's just absolutely feeling incredibly happy, daydreaming about the future and just still wanting to be angry because you're still quite a feisty, fierce kind of gal. Feeling on top of the world right now, on top of the world. Also Ty, Ty with the new romantic interest as well, Andre, it's still very new. They've only just got to know each other, but that kind of came out the blue and I kind of love it. And then Kami who is also hard Having a you guys are sleeping in the same bed. I am gonna assume that Molly knows nothing of this, but then why do you have fairy wings? <laughs> I need to start taking fantasy casts out of my game when I'm not making fantasy casts because otherwise I get left with this. And whilst adorable and hilarious, it's also a little bit immersion breaking, but fine, whatever. These guys are not actually currently dating. I don't really know why. You see each other as soulmates. You're deeply connected, but you're not dating. However, they are sleeping in the same bed. And often I get Sims being like, uh -uh, when you try and get them to sleep in the same bed. So it's very sweet that these guys are. Your obstacle scream incoherently are uh, Ash because of a fire. Which, which fire was that? I literally do not know, but Ash did not enjoy that. I probably also would like it if someone just came into my face and just screamed at me, like literally screamed at me. Also would not be a big fan of that. But mother-in-law, I think there was a really awkward point at one point where 
There was an autonomous flirt very like when Molly was first introduced, which obviously we hate, but obviously nothing has happened since. So it's because she does think Ash is attractive. And honestly, I don't think that's creepy because who doesn't? Who doesn't find this alien hybrid long lived, will probably never die sim attractive? Like everyone is gonna. <gasps> Look, see, she wants to flirt with Ash. I'm not gonna allow this. For sims, they might be like, ah, oh, this is fun, this is fine. For actual human beings, though, that understand social ties and relationships, they <laughs> Hate it. <gasps> and look at little Foxy Cleopatra sleeping in the same room as us. Little Vexen. Li Vexen. I like that. When Vixen is vexed, vexed in my family at least means angry. When she's mad, we'll call her Vexen. But when she's just vibing, she is Vixen. And she's sleeping next to Clem, which I love because she's a loyal googie egg. I'm kind of keeping an eye on Keaton, like to see where he is and where he's sleeping. He is still simping respectfully because although they're dating, he's still like... Yeah, but I won't, I can't, I can't sleep in the same bed. It's just, it's too soon. I'll just clean the kitchen instead. He may be a bad boy outside of their relationship, but inside of their relationship, he just looks respectfully. That is kind of his, his flow, which is fine. I'm sure Molly loves that, so that's nice. Honestly, Ash with everyone scares me because she's just so damn hot, it worries me, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Uh -huh. And oh my gosh, Ty, Ty, stop it. He's just sent us. 13,000 pound in child support payment. I know you're trying to be nice and obviously we don't have the Breadman and Leela around anymore, but I don't need this. How much was it? 13,000? 13,272. I'm going to set it back to like 23 to like get rid of that money. And in my head, I'm sending it back to Zach. Uh, Ty, sorry, was I saying Zach? Oh, geez, no. Ty, I'm like, take it. Take it back, Ty. Take it back. Far too sweet. We don't need it. We're doing fine. We're on holiday in Salani in water houses on the beach. Like, we're, we're fine. We got this. We're absolutely fine. And the good news is Clem has woken up confident and not hysterical, which is good because I don't... It scares me when they're too emotional. It scares me. We have learned from Saj Sam. Who's crying in the bed? Who was having a little boohoo in the bed? <laughs> Bedtime boohoos. Who is this? <gasps> it's Keenan. Is it because you're so tired? Why? What's going on? Can I check in on him? All of my NPCs have like such huge families at this point that someone's always just died. Somebody has always just died every single time. <gasps> oh, jeez, what's going on? Oh, no. Oh, okay, that was very disturbing to look at. Okay, I think we've cheered him up a little bit, which is nice. But we also stink, so we should... Oh my gosh, we can clog the train. We should probably take a bath. And I feel like now these guys are dating. One thing to say, actually, and I totally forgot this, so thank you for reminding me. One thing that I said last time is, oh, it'd be really cool to like, live in Solani one day. However, I actually have to live in a flat that has the like constantly breaking trait. It's not called that. It's called something cooler than that. But you know what I mean? I have to live in a flat with a constantly breaking trait. So as cool as it is to live here, we won't be able to do that. At least not as young adults. Maybe when we get a little bit older, I don't know. But we've got to start like planning to- <laughs> where's Vixen going? Shum! Vixen! Yeah, we've got to like live in San Maishuno next because we've got to do the needs, ma needs maintenance, I think it is. Which is good as well because the next gen after Clem is meant to grow up poor. So I guess if the house is constantly breaking and Clem isn't fixing it herself, like I don't know, Saffron would have done. Instead, we're paying for things to constantly to get replaced. It's a good way to keep our money low, which is great. And also the criminal career which Clem has to go into also pays really badly so the combination of the two of them should keep our finances low but then I'm kind of like yeah but look we come from a family that has really good household funds like both of our parents had like good jobs that were also like well paid Ooh, text emergency maybe they missed the first we'll give it a go but yeah I was thinking that maybe the way that we can make sure that they get away from the money and all of the finances is maybe when Clem grows up like ages up her and Keen on fires I'm gonna keep calling him that for the end of time have kind of like made a pact that they want to run away to the city together they don't want the like the little suburban lifestyle they want to run away to the city and try and make it in the city and join a gang when they get to the city or start a gang when they get to the city i don't know so that's kind of like their current aim and maybe they have like some lifetime aspiration that they'll work in the city they'll earn enough money and then one day they'll run to solani and like live on a ship and that's kind of that they want to do but they need a lot of money to get that They've enjoyed hanging out in Solani. So yeah, we've been to Solani. We know we love it. Solani. Wow. I'm making it sound like salami somehow. And we do want to like come back here and live here, but it's like a long-term aspiration. So since today is our final day, I'm just going to get all of the teenagers to kind of like hang out together. Play in the sea because it's like, it's so beautiful here. There's a reason this is probably my favorite of all of the Sim worlds. It's just so nice to look at. Like, look at this. 
Oh my gosh, no way. There it is. There is the jet ski. Molly knows all about this jet ski. This should bring back some great memories from her. And I think I can actually go here. Yeah, we can all the teenagers. Oh, wait, one person snorkeling situation. Okay, maybe not that then. Why don't you guys go snorkeling together? And why don't you guys go snorkeling together? Ty, I don't want you to feel left out. So why don't we bring Andre over again? Invite her on vacation. It's our final day. It's kind of heavy, but it should be fine. It is very heavy, but... I don't know, teenagers, things tend to be a bit like... And I'm gonna get Molly to have a go again. Oh, maybe get a bath first. Yeah, have your bath first. We've got to do it. For all time's sake, we've got to go back on the same aquasif as before. We just, we just gotta, okay? Okay, so the snorkeling at times have commenced. <sighs> Honestly, because it's so hot outside. I'm like, wait a minute, who are you? And it's a Keola. It's only a relative of Makoa's with the little flip-flops. Yeah, would it be in this hot outside in the UK? And I'm like listening to them all in the water and this room is so hot. I would love more than anything to cool down in the ocean and go snorkeling. The only goggles I can wear as well, like, you know, those really big goggles, like it's them or nothing for me. Otherwise, like the water leaks in, but if I wear those really thick goggles, I'm fine. And I just want to be here doing this. I am fully living through my Sims at this point. I am just 100% living through them. I want this. I want this. Although the coral is looking quite sad because in this save, I've not cleaned up Solani. I don't know if a Sim ever has that. Is any of the future challenges to clean up Solani because otherwise it could be a good way for Clem to get some redemption for her criminal life like way further down the line if she ever does come back to Solani she could try and clean it up try and make amends because you know most criminal stuff is bad for humans bad for socials bad for the environment so a bit of a redemption arc could be quite nice and yeah it's just kind of nice to give them all like a really nice little holiday together especially because I feel like in the future one, we won't be controlling. Obviously, we'll keep checking in on Kami and Tyler, but the way I do this is I always just play one person for like the whole thing because it's it's just more fun for me that way. So it's nice to kind of like have some final like nice moments with everyone. And I'm a, I'm a sucker for romance. So having everyone at least tied up as teenagers, even if it doesn't stay that way, is kind of like really cute. Oh my gosh, what are you doing right now? Stop teasing him. That's more like it. That's more like it. And then the other thing is as well, because I feel like, the future of Clem's life is gonna be kind of tough. It's nice to have some nice like moments just <laughs> hanging out with friends and family at the beach before we go to no money, criminal, maybe getting beat up like oh geez I don't know what's like next in store for them so I want like a nice just a nice episode of niceness you know and one thing I'm gonna do as well is because I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be controlling Molly um for not Molly Camille, at least I'm catching myself doing it now. I'm gonna get her to like ask to be boyfriend. I really wanted them to do it autonomously, but they're not doing it on their own. But that's fine. I just want to like make sure that I'm gonna leave them in a relationship so that they might like stay that way. And oh my gosh, you're, you're serenading. Well, that's cute. You've got a nice singing voice. Whoa, Lila's singing voice is living on through Kami, which is so cute. Okay, so now these guys are like official, which I really wanted and I really like. So there we go. I'm gonna leave them at least like official, which is amazing. I feel like Tyler's is a little bit too new, but it does seem to be going quite well. And then here is Molly zooming around just like when um she was younger. Just a nice little bit of a... Oh. This sure hurts my back more now that I'm old, but at least I'm doing it on a happier occasion than impending divorce on my honeymoon. Instead, now it's the children that we had. Oh my gosh. Okay, she got a lot better at it too. Instead, it's now watching our children grow up and find their own love. And high school love doesn't always last forever. I don't know if any of these relationships will still exist when they're young adults, but it's nice for them to enjoy them. Enjoy them while they last, you know? And can you not pee in the ocean? Can I not make her just pee in the- There we go, pee in the ocean. You're very far from home. You're not gonna make it so just oh my gosh the ocean changes color clem that's so gross at least swim away from it like swim away from the pee oh my gosh what's happening now oh she just did the robot and then just run home we thought she was a criminal turns out she's actually a demigod okay interesting little uh relevation there okay so it's kind of final final evening vibes before we go back home tomorrow oh my gosh there's so much gossip going on at school what we've only got like two days left for them at school because tomorrow they'll have three days left till they age up. So one thing I really want to do, I really wanted Tyler to get a grade A. So I'm actually on holiday going to get him to... Oh, 
<gasps> Where is your homework? Okay, you need to start doing your homework. I really wanted to get him to an A. I felt like he was such a naturally bright, like, in primary school. But it's it's kind of gone a little bit, you know? So let's just buy him back his homework. And he already is, like, uncomfortable. He's like, I can't believe you've done this to me. And it looks like we'll be getting you to pee in the ocean as well. Also, my parents used to totally do this when me and my brother were kids. Yes. And... And Michael, they used to make us do homework on holiday. They used to bring like homework and schoolwork with us. And then we'd go to like a specific room in the hotel and like we'd have to sit and do homework for an hour or two. But I can't do it. Why can't I do the homework? I don't know. But I want to make Ty do homework on holiday because if I had to do it, then you have to do it, Ty, okay? Oh, and wow, someone, this is why you pee in the ocean. I hope no one saw me pee on myself. Why don't you just do it in the sea? Like, what is wrong with you? I do not know. Right, get home, gang. Oh, and oh, just for a second there, she still, she still gets the such about missing Lila thing. I think like, obviously losing Lila was really tough on her and she acted out a lot, but Molly's like, you know, brought her back in again. When she loses Molly though, like, I am worried. I actually feel like she is closer to Molly than she ever was to Lila. Like, they just vibed better. Lila's strict parenting style was great for these two, but for Clem, it just made her, like, act up more. Whereas Molly's relaxed one actually means that, like, Lila... Uh, sorry, Clem responds really well to Molly and the way that she parents her. So, yeah, I think, ironically, like, that death will hit her more. And I'm noticing that... Kami... It's because Kami... Molly, it's like ee ee, like mol. <laughs> Kami wants to woo woo with Zach. That's okay. Uh, they want to do an woo woo. Interessant. I don't think Clem's had that pop up yet, like one of her whims. Definitely won't be happening anyway because she's actually sleeping in the same bed as Zach, who still sleeps at Zach. Ash, who still sleeps in her alien clovies, and these two are like super close. I love like their grandmother granddaughter relationship. Very cute. Good friendos with grandmother. We don't know much about her other than she loves press ups and she's really old, but we think she's really cool. Oh, and Fairy has gone back to sleep with Cam. They're sleeping in the same bed, and our vacation ends in four hours. Are you actually gonna kick us out at like 8 a.m. in the morning? That is an early checkout. I prefer a 10 to 11 a.m. checkout, and we're gonna go home to no power. Great. Oh, and look what a nice day it is. Like, I don't want to leave this. I don't want to leave it. It's so nice here. Look at the beautiful sun rising over another beautiful day in Solani. And we got to go back to Windenburg, which I also love. But like, it's no Solani, you know? It's no Solani. <gasps> and that's it. Got to end the vacation. Goodbye. Oh, but hello, beautiful loading screen. Fair, fair. And of course we come back to rain. There was never anything more sure than this. This was always gonna happen. Back to rain, and you guys gotta go to school. You do, which I'm kind of low-key quite happy about because you've missed a lot of school now. So definitely let's go back to school. Ty, do your homework. Yes, you guys can do your homeworks again. You guys do your homework. Clem has always seen homework as more of a suggestion than a rule. Her homework has been in her inventory this whole time, but I don't think she's ever done homework once. So I don't make her do her homework, but what I have started to do is make her listen to a teacher just in case it helps us pick up any skills that would be useful for the criminal career in future. So they're all heading in now. So I will get her to listen to teacher. Kami always likes to listen to teacher. And Zaku is, uh, not Zach. Tyler is homesick from being away from home. But you're back home now. I don't understand. This literally is your home, okay? Do you see Solani as your home? You want to go back there? I mean, that's kind of cute, right? Oh, and Tyler also has a group project. Try and contribute, but this never goes well. And should Clem do the reading or do her homework? Uh, you don't do homework, so do the reading. And okay, the rest of Tyler's group didn't help. That is always what happens with group work. Clem can't do anything because she's thinking about all the homework. So both of them basically got bad results from that. <laughs> the one time she actually listens to teacher and she just finds it more annoying. The looking after of Vixen has kind of somewhat fallen a bit to Molly, which, you know, we definitely did not see coming with Clem being the owner but I actually think whilst most parents would be annoyed about the fact that their child had secretly found a fox club and tried to raise it in a tree house I think Molly actually quite likes having the uh company at home although right now we're just doing a lot of standing a lot of standing okay oh and Vixie's all the way over here oh well you are a fox I guess you walk foxes a bit differently but yeah I think she quite likes the company and in fact I may get her to like teach Vixen some tricks I think it would be useful for her to be able to do like a few little bits and bobs and it gives her something to do in the daytime okay so Zach is 
screen brought home with us, as usual. And Ty is up to a B, which is amazing. Very, very happy about that. Cami wants to go to university. The thing is, though, if you don't control them at uni, they never graduate, which is so annoying. So I may have to instead, like just cheat her a degree or something? I don't know. But I was also thinking, I want them to kind of finish more of their scout badges as well. Ooh, Camille can collect the Keep Fit badge. And so can Ty, that's awesome, good job. And uh, you can get it from programming as well. Okay, why don't you work on your programming? I was gonna get Kami to do something, but she would prefer to serenade Zach in the rain. Also in Clem's room, wow, the disrespect. But it's fine, because Clem is coming to Molly for some advice, and I feel like it's time for a nice little group baking as well. And I just really like it when these guys bake together. I think it's so cute. I'm gonna miss this because Molly's getting older and Clem's not- oh well that was a bit of a fail. Clem's not gonna be here for like living at home for much longer either and everything's just gonna change a little bit. So they've baked a little carrot cake together. I don't understand the vegetables in cakes but it, it is a nice looking cake. Clem's gonna have a go at decorating it. I mean it's already really nicely decorated so I feel like this may just end up making it worse but we shall see. Oh you know what though? Actually, great job. And orange. It is very, very orange. And I also think she's struggling to make friends. Well, she's not, but like, just keep being friendly. You know the new girl in our group, Tessa? They're kind of getting well, but it's not like as close as with everybody else. Every time she teases the life out of people, even Keenan, they end up getting annoyed and losing friendship a little bit. So she does find it quite hard to make friends because she's like torn between wanting to be friendly and wanting to just torment them. <laughs> so yeah, I think she's always gonna find it quite tough to get close to people. And I was- I just clicked on bed. And look, I could woo-woo with Lila. They can do a ghost woo-woo. I usually don't like meddling with the supernatural, but maybe it's a dream instead. I don't know, Molly's getting older and I think it would just be nice to have, even if it's a dream, just like a little bit of romance, a little bit of nostalgia, I will allow it. And okay, we got a little cheapo for that as well. Good job, Molly, good job. And it was great, it was spectacular. Spectacular ghost boos. Oh, and I'm like, oh, it looks such a nice day. It's actually cold. They're all really cold, but they are all heading into school. It is the final day to listen to teacher and try and get a few random skills up because they've got, um, ooh, do some extra credit. They've got two days left until they age up. So tomorrow will be one day. It's also Harvest Fest tomorrow. And I think I will do... Okay, last time I did this, but I, I don't want to make it do homework, so I'm gonna make it do that. I think I'm gonna give them like a day off to like party. Well, I'll at least throw a party and do their aging up because there's three of them, so it's probably gonna take a while. And then it's their final day of teenhood. And Molly has lived for 132 days. That is a lot, but I still feel like it pales in comparison to Ash. I can't see how many Ash has lived, but it's probably over 200 at this point. She is definitely our longest lived by a country mile. And I've got the birthday pop-up for everyone. It's almost 50 time. Tyler is up to an A. How did you go up an entire grade in a day? Like I told you as soon as he put his mind to it, I mean, you're exhausted, that's how. But you also had a romantic day at school. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, as soon as he put his mind to it, I knew he would get up to an A. He's a really smart guggy. Also a sleepy guggy though, so go to sleep please. These two have somehow ended up with matching, like matching clothes. You've both got little brown cardigans on. It's all very autumn-y. It's actually a whole vibe. Very cute. I love it. Clem, I've got to rake leaves, literally just so I can set the leaves on fire after I finish raking them. Cause her fun is low and one thing that we know is very fun is fire. So that's the logic there. See, before, no fun. Now, fire fun. Oh, we got the wrong hair for this outfit, but I think it's because I, I haven't set a hair to all outfits. But yeah, now we've got fun in the fire. We can like throw things in it, which is fun. Generally just be a nuisance to the neighborhood and almost set our face on fire. Good job, good job. You're missing Molly, but she's out. She's on a big dog walk at the moment. Fox walk, should I say. I still want these guys to, ha like they were BFFs. They've kind of obviously pulled apart a little bit because they're dating other people, like Zach's dating Clem's sister. We've kind of given each other space. I have to be careful because he's super flirty. Okay, there we go. He was super flirty from being with Kami and I don't want him to accidentally... Ooh, your relationship's still not good. Still not good with Kami. But I don't want them to go into like adulthood having like a bad blood between them. So I think it's nice for these guys to make things up a little bit. So although they're not like super best friendos anymore. Oh, I can't do it because what there's not enough space in this Dina Dana tree house. Okay, maybe, maybe let's go down here so we can do the banter with BFF thing. You never know when we might like still need Zach in the future. I don't know what Clem's life is gonna hold for her. Probably a lot of nonsense. So I think it's good to have people that care about you. And I think Zach's always gonna care deeply about her. He just doesn't want to rob a bank with her. You know, it's, it's a different kind of friendship. 
friendship. So I like the idea that these guys like are back to being close again. I think that's really nice. And it is 11 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and send her to bed. Kami just autonomously done all of her homework, even though, um, <laughs> even though you're not going to school tomorrow because you're going to age up. But fair play to you. Fair play to you. And that is it. We are aging them up today. The final day of teenhood because they got one day left and I don't like them to randomly just spin age up off camera somewhere. So we're gonna do their birthday today. Also, I am so hot that I'm struggling to hold my mouse because my hand is wet with sweat. Just so gross. That's the way things are right now. So obviously, obviously it's gonna be these guys. Oh, it's not cooking, is it? Okay, Clem, why don't you bake some, like, peanut butter cookies? That sounds good. Uh, we can get Molly to cook the cake. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. And since it's also Harvest Fest, we will also do a grand meal. One thing I thought is when I move to San Myshuno and our money is low, that's when I can, like, break into my neighbor's apartments and eat this stuff, which I'm supposed to do as part of this challenge. So that's kind of perfect, too. Ty is like, I'm about to grow up and I don't know what I want to be. Pick something you like. Think about the things you like doing and make a career out of those instead. And Camille doesn't feel right about all these tricks and games. She's decided she dislikes mischief. Yes. That's actually so perfect. That's exactly how I see you. You hate mischief. Stop being mischievous then, you know? Ash is hoping we're doing good. Very cute. And let's go ahead and get this little pate on the road. Didn't I age them up last time on some... Oh my gosh, the gnomes everywhere. Didn't I, like, um, age them up last time when it was a grand meal as well? I kind of feel like this is very deja vu energy. I can't really remember what it was last time, but we've got another grand meal. So Molly has peed herself again. This seems to happen an awful lot in this house because of the horrific bathroom placement. But there we go. We'll go do our little grand meal. And then we also finished off the cake too. There we go. Chocolate cake. And everyone will be sharing one because I can't bother to cook three times. So let's get some birthday candles on this just to make sure nobody eats it because I know what you like, Sims. Cami hates parties, by the way. Too many people, stranger danger. She is a loner. This is absolutely not for her. Ty, however, loves them. Everyone's in the same wavelength. He's just vibing. He's like, this is great. And I kind of feel sad. Look, Clem's feeling like togetherness and feeling close. Surrounded by loads of like family, like honestly, probably going to be other than Lila, although her ashes are here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we've got two mice now, by the way. Probably like the happiest time of her life, surrounded by a bunch of people. I feel like the future in her life is gonna be, again, a lot tougher than hanging around in a cute little little cottage or being in Solani. So this is kind of like a little bit bittersweet in a way. And oh my gosh, so many gnomes. I'm gonna give it a good kick. Kick that gnome. Yes, and this one. Oh, she loved that. Look at that evil laugh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, now I have two more and they've got fire on their head. I don't care, I'll kick them again. Don't test me, gnomes! Goodbye, gnome! Oh my gosh, the evil love! I love the evil love. And you as well, goodbye! Goodbye, gnome! What is this little fire all about? Why do the gnomes do that? Oh! Kicking them works, I got Ruby out of that. Oh my gosh, no matter how many I kick, more come. It's really annoying. Oh my gosh, look how weird they are though. Look at them. Definitely get them kicked. Yes. Oh, you get so much stuff for kicking them. This was the best idea ever. Oh, and my empathy is in the range to learn the insensitive trait because I kicked a load of gnomes. Honestly, though, they kind of asked for it. And we're going to blow things. Oh, now we're jumping. We're jumping in the remains of the gnomes. We're going to age up in the order that we are. So first of all, of course, is going to be Tyler. For the twins, I'm just going to roll and see what they get for their like traits. I'll do like best of three type dealio. So Ty is the oldest. Ty goes first. Blowing out them kind Candles and becoming a young adult. Okay, Tyler really just said nah to aging up. Kind of rude, not gonna lie. Let's maybe try again. Okay, you're gonna do a little... Oh, okay, no, no, we're still not aging up. We do not want to age up. We just, we just really said no to that. He's like, no, I will stay forever young. I'm just not gonna age up. This is against the rules though. So let's try over here. Okay, now it's working. Tyler is no longer in scout and he also completely disappeared. But let's do one, two, three. Three. Unflirty. Okay. Ty is gonna get unflirty. Did I say best of three? I may just roll three. I'm gonna roll three on them. Then next up is you, Kami. I will give them slightly tweaked appearances for like their next part of their life as well. So let's go ahead and get Camille to blow her candles out. They disappear as soon as they do it. One, two, three. Geek. Okay. Happy when reading sci-fi. 
Hmm. I don't get the geek vibe from her. One, two, three. Romantic? Kind of the opposite of Ty. You know what? I will allow that. You can be this like loner, hopeless romantic. I think that's sweet. I like that a lot. Okay. And then finally, we shall do Clem. Clems, I am the most worried about of all though, because when I age up Clem, I have to give her the evil trait, which I really, really don't want to do, but it's the rules. I kind of got it. Are you refusing to age up as well? You totally are, aren't you? You're like, nah, I don't want to be evil. I stay young. Okay, she's really just said no twice in a row now. <gasps> and oh my gosh, where are you aging up? No wonder it's not working. Celia just died of old age. No wonder we can't age up. Oh my gosh, what? <gasps> don't I have to witness death? This could actually have worked out perfectly because to be a public enemy, I have to witness death and Celia has just died on my birthday. I mean, it's sad that Celia's died, but is this also a really happy accident? I did need for this to happen and it has kind of happened. However, it's also before I've managed to age up, which is kind of frustrating. Oh, Celia, it had to be you of everyone. Celia with the ultimate sacrifice potentially of letting us see her die. And I think now Ash has seen two of her children die. This is the problem with being a sim that lives for a long time. It ends up being more sad that you've seen so much sadness than happy that you've lived for so long. And that is definitely what's happened to Ash. And okay, I really don't want to do this, but I've got to it's the challenge rules. I've got to make her evil. I have to make her evil. So let's go ahead and nip into Cass and give everyone a slightly tweaked young adult appearance. And geez, what a sad way to go into the, like, like, oh, they're raging up. Oh, actually, Shelly has died. Great. So I'm gonna do Ty first. I kind of see Ty going into like the programming career. So I feel like he can keep his dress style quite casual. And I also feel like that fits his like vibe quite a lot. But what I'm gonna do is give him back those cool like trousers that he had as a kid. Cause I couldn't find them for him as an adult, but I think they look quite cool. And I feel like maybe he'll dress something like this. I kind of feel like that's a cool little look for him. I'm gonna switch out his hair again. It's maybe like this kind of dealio. I think that looks real cute. And then I actually don't downloaded some like facial hair specifically for black men. I know it's a lot for him to grow all in one go. It's from XX Black Sims and I've just never used it before. So I thought it could be kind of interesting to give a go. Let me know what you think. And I'm also just switching up his skin details a little bit just to give him like a little bit of a more like older appearance. There we go. So let me know what you think of Ty. Did I call him Zach again? I kind of feel like I did. Then we've got Camille, who looks very teeny right here. So I think we definitely need to make her look a little bit more grown. So I've gone for this like lightened ends with her because I think it looks really, really cute. I actually originally downloaded these hairs for Clem, but there's no like orange swatch. So you can get orange lighter ends like this, but nothing from the roots. And I kind of see her stylus staying still again, relaxed, but like a little bit more grown up. So we've lost the dung for now. I don't think these hairs are compatible with a beret. I just love putting berries on Sims. However, like these ones don't work, which kind of sucks, but I still think she looks super, super cute. And then finally on to Clem. So I've also switched up her skin details a bit to give her a little bit of a, like a older and like slightly like harsher appearance because I think it suits her. And like the story we're going to be like telling with her. I'm going to keep her hair in locks right now because obviously we've still got Molly. We're still living at home. We've not gone like rogue. So we've still got like Molly Withers and that like expresses in her hair because they do that together. But I am going to lose the fire pants, which I'm actually really sad about because I loved those pants. I'm keeping the theme orange because I try and dress them with at least a bit of the color from each gen. And right now I've given her the angel necklace, but the idea is we'll probably change it at some point but right now she's not like other than starting the odd fire she's not really that bad so we kind of have that to come yet but here is adult clem i guess next episode we will be moving out potentially into the big city we kind of have this dream of making our money in the city and then retiring to the island life but that's probably going to be way off in the future but what i'm really excited about is now that i've become an adult i can join the criminal career next episode and we will have started the next part of the public enemy aspiration so i'm really excited for that i'm kind of excited to move out and be on my own because i've just been wanting that for a while so very hyped about that hopefully you guys are as well i'm sorry 
sorry there was a little surge death in the middle of it all, really putting a bit of a downer on the birthday celebrations. I will also give an updated appearance to Keenan Fires, who's a fast food employee, by the way, and also Zach as well, as I always do. And we're going to be playing with Evil Clem now, which means things are probably going to get so much harder. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think of their adult appearances, young adult appearances, and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye!